What's up, bud? It's Rob, this is Apparel Success, and in this video here, I want to show you guys how to receive orders, how to pack those orders, and then how to ship those orders out. I'm gonna go through this as if you've literally never sent out a package in your entire life, um, even if you have, but just to give you the full breakdown of how this works. So the first thing that you'll need to do is actually receive an order. Okay, and when you do receive an order, it should come through your website and look something like this, where it comes with a shipping address and what exactly the person ordered. The next thing that you wanna do is copy the shipping address from your website and paste it into a Word document, okay? Because this Word document is gonna be printed off and you're gonna cut out this address to put onto the package that you send out. Now, what I like to do inside of this Word document is highlight the address tidy it up a bit and then change the font to a font that we use with our brand just for like a little subtle amount of branding. You're also going to want to type up and print out your own address because you also need that from address when you send out the actual order. I like to print and cut out several hundred of our own addresses just so that we don't have to do it every single time and we can just grab them from this pile of our own addresses every time we need them. So the next thing that you're going to need here, bud, is boxes and bubble mailers, okay? The bubble mailers are going to be used for things like t-shirts, tank tops, those smaller things that can fit into them, and the boxes are going to be used for things like hoodies. Uh, and hats that can't fit into the bubble mailers, okay? Now, if you don't have a lot of orders, maybe you've had like one or two orders, you can literally just go to the post office and pick one or two of these up, um, and you don't necessarily need to buy them in bulk, but once you start getting a lot more orders, it becomes really, really convenient and cost-effective to buy them in bulk. Here is a fucking beauty bonus tip for you guys. What you wanna do, if you can afford it, is purchase a stamp block with your own logo on it, okay, with your business logo on it. These usually cost between 50 to $100, but it's a one-time purchase that you can use over and over again. And basically what you're gonna do with this is you're going to use it on each of your boxes and bubble mailers as extra branding for your brand. It might not feel like it's doing much, but believe me, to the person who's ordered from you, the difference between receiving just a blank box and receiving one that has your brand on it, the excitement that that creates, is everything, okay? I highly recommend you do it if you can afford it. So the next thing that you're gonna do is actually put their order inside of their order. And uh, you're gonna chuck in any sort of extra things that you like to throw in there. We throw in some stickers, any sort of promo goods that you have, throw them in there as well. Then you're gonna seal her up, taper up, and it's time to throw your addresses on this guy. You're gonna slap on the old from address in the top left. Then you're gonna slap on the old to address in the middle, and that's it. That's everything that you need to do. And now you can just go to the post office and send it out. I hope this video really helped you if you were trying to learn about how to pack and ship orders. If you have any ideas for videos that you think I should do that you want answered, write them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them and I'll definitely be reading every single one of your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.